That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Miguel. He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Ah. Ah, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I, I, I'm with you. It's my choice most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so 
Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> Do you really believe in all that, that stuff you said? About the cataclysms? The apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for. Or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No. No, I... When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? We can get through here. <sighs> Give me a hand. It must be Kwakiaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. Huh. Oh. 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 Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, gotcha. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> what do you think, Bill? In the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulic. The bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. Me too. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. Hey, that did something. I think the water power is the bridge somehow. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Bucket's leaking. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. <sighs> Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? 
I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. Yeah. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. If these are Incan, does that mean that we're off track? Mm, it could mean something happened hundreds of years ago that we don't know about yet. Maybe some mines got lost in the jungle too. <laughs> yeah. The passageway, that's promising. How will we know when we're back on track to I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad.
I'm gonna go make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved? Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else? No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. The adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your math homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon. The floor gives way. Lara tumbles into the darkness. 
Now for the real treasure in the forbidden tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting well. the king. Yes, I'm aware of that. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Continues climbing, looking for another way in. Ugh. Ugh. Our hero spies another entrance. Extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. <laughs> Almost there. Covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close. She can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? Shit! Last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. By night the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen she wrote her heart. With light unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely.
Unlock her love's release. It worked. <clears throat> Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. Great bat swings on fire. With light, unlock her love's release. Amazing. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Destroying this family. Obsession. I'm obsessed. You are missing your daughter's childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Oh, 
the sight. He doesn't have to deal with it. Dad? Please, for goodness sake, you've got to understand. This is probably the most important one. I've arrived at. Well, okay, what do I do? I have to... Dad? So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> 